and welcome back to Heiner Builds Your Ride. Today with Big Bertha and the motorhome on wheels. We have, we have put a full off-grid system into this so the customer can ca camp wherever they want. But uh, to begin with the little thing, we also put a light bar. Laser lamps light bar in the front just in case he gets caught by the dark. Uh, but before I show you the inside, have a look at the intro. To make sure this customer can stay off grid for as long as he wants to, we have put 720 watt of solar on the roof of this, two 180 watt panels in series, and then three 120 watt panels in series, uh, both running through an individual MPPT regulator from Victron, 30 amps each, which should give us, we should get close to 50 amp charging with this setup on the roof, which will enable the customer to run his aircon almost completely just off the roof solar system. But let's have a look on the inside. So this is the inside. This is so spacious. You got a full bathroom in here, kitchen, toilet. You can sleep in the back. You've got a lounge in the back. You've got another bed there and you've got a kitchen seating area here. So what we've done is we've put the lithium battery bank in there with the shunt and the main fuses. And then in here is all the chargers. We've put the multi-plus inverter in here, connected to the shore power and to the 240 volt system of this van. We have got two Orion TR Smart DC-DC chargers. We've got the two 30 amp MPPT regulators for the five solar panels on the roof. So one of them is connected to three panels in series. The other one is connected to two panels in series. They each got 360 watt of solar each connected to them. And then we've got the Egan DC hub in here that is connecting everything together. It's also connecting all the DC systems of the van. And then of course, we've got our Serbo GX who is the brain of everything, it connects everything together. This even reports back into a mainframe all the time. So this will show up on the Victron 
website where you can log in with your own credentials and you can remote monitor the system from anywhere in the world as long as there's mobile phone signal available this will constantly report back into a database you can monitor the whole system we can remote monitor the system in case the customer has got a problem and we can do remote fault finding if we have to we can do remote software updates it's, it's it's a very, very in-depth and really good system. And the customer can monitor everything here on the Touch 70 panel. So this is slightly bigger. And as you can see, it's still in the morning. So we're getting 490 watts of solar charging at the moment, which is equivalent to 32 amps. This will actually be more. This will go up to about 650, 680 somewhere. And we will get 40, 45 and maybe and a really good conditions here in Australia, sometimes panels even overperform, is when you go outside, you can feel the sun burning your skin. You will sometimes get up to 130, 140 watt out of 120 watt solar panel. Well, that's about the days when you don't want to be outside without sunscreen. On this system here, the Victron system, you can monitor your whole electric system. You've got your solar here. If we would connect external 240 volt power, it would show up here and we can see how external 240 is supplying the MultiPlus. This is the MultiPlus. You can see the loads. And then here you've got your battery. You can see the wattage of charge going into the battery. The DC system is using 50 watt at the moment as well. And I can turn the aircon on and we will see that we get some AC loads. So that's the aircon ramping up now. As you can see, we're now drawing 850, a bit more than 800. You'll find it will ramp up once the compressor kicks in. And then at some stage when it's uh, cooled everything down, it just kicks in to keep the van cold. They usually draw about 600 watt roughly. So once the solar system is cranking as well, it will almost sustain the aircon. It might not be completely, but then we've got 460 amp hours of lithium battery bank in here. So he will be able to run the aircon for quite some time and completely sustainable as well, because the solar will charge up the battery so quickly. It will even be all right. He can run his microwave. Another thing that we've got in here is a satellite dish system on the roof. It will automatically search for the for satellite reception and then we've got HDMI outputs all the way throughout uh, the van. The receiver is here and you can plug in different HDMI outputs. Whoops, that wasn't intentional. And you can have your tally in different spots and you can watch satellite TV, which this customer really enjoys. So he can do that wherever he wants to now because he's got all the power in the world to actually sustain it. There's a few extra fans throughout as well to make it a bit more bearable when you don't want to run the aircon, but just have a little breeze coming through. He's got a stereo. He's got a 240 volt hot water system as well. So he can choose to use either whoops, 240 volt or he can use gas for the hot water. There's more fans here, charge ports, HDMI cables. There's another television there, which is an old television that would run off the roof aerial, which isn't existing anymore. We took the old style roof aerial out and replaced it with a proper satellite dish. And here in the toilet, you've got a USB charger as well, just in case you want to be on the toilet. But your phone's empty, you never know. Also charge ports there and there. Always accessory and USB. So this has got more options to charge things than you can possibly want. I don't think you will run out of power points anytime soon. That is basically it. It's getting nice and cold in here already and all fully sustainable, just running off, just running off the batteries. At the moment, this draws about 40 amps from the batteries, as you can see. So you could keep going this way, 
if nothing would change, with the solar being the same way, for 10 hours before your batteries would be empty. But before that happens, the aircon will start cycling because this is well insulated. This will give you very long run time for the aircon if you want to. That's it for this customer. I hope you enjoyed the solution we've put into this vehicle. I certainly really do. I think this is a great system which enables camping in a completely different way because you don't actually have to go to caravan parks anymore and plug in somewhere. You just park wherever you want on the side of the road and you still got all the luxury with you. I think there's only one thing left to do. Our patch of approval. This thing is now ready to drive and camp anywhere. Thank you and see you for the next one. <laughs>